Hello, hello. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from Da Nang in Vietnam. 6 a.m. It's nice and cool. This is when everybody goes out in Vietnam and we're gonna walk down to the beach. I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna show you the area. This guy here comes out every morning selling sells fruit and vegetables <laughs> and he'll stop down here loads of people buy it I've seen him yesterday this is my area and it's such a cool area I love it so many nice hotels like this hello <laughs> it's got loads of different stuff in there fish I think he's got fish this is where I go to get all my water and snacks in the evening I'm starting to get me head around the money a bit more now so last night i just done a bit of editing and i crashed out about 9 p.m the last two nights i've been to sleep really early so yeah one of the next couple nights i've got to go to the night market near the dragon bridge about 9 p.m so we're gonna do that one night the seven coffee busy every morning with cyclist See, they all go out early riding their bikes, look. And by, by 12, 1 p.m., you won't see no one out. All oh, this will be dead. There'll just be a couple of people in here. Normally Westerners. But look, they're all out on their bikes. Been on the cruise before they go, before they go to work. Hello, YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> See, this is 6 a.m. guys. This is 6 a.m. Just full of people. A guy like YouTuber. <laughs> On the weather, it did say it's about 29 today, so it's going to be a little bit, little bit cooler. Right, so here's the beach, man. See, normally you would look that way. That's my first intention you know what's built into you you'd look that way but really the traffic's coming that way yeah it messes with your head man for a little while when you've not been been used to it you can see how busy it is compared to the other the other vlog i've done ah oh, that music playing i'm not sure this will be copyrighted ah oh, it's really misty this morning Yesterday it was loads clearer. But look, look how many people are down here. About 20 past six. <laughs> That's what I love about Vietnamese. They get out, man. Look at them all exercising. Ah, oh, it's lovely this morning. So refreshing. You know, everybody just exercising, stretching, going for a swim. I'm hoping it is going to be a bit of a cooler day so I want to go into the city again. I think I'm going to go to the War Museum today and have a look around. I'm not sure when that vlog will be up but that one will be coming. Play the little kids out, 6am. In England, he, he'd be in bed, man. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be screaming, shouting, no, I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> Look at him out there. So it's all lifeguarded here as well. See, there's a guy out there on a jet ski and there's normally someone up there on the, um, on the seat. But I think he's out making sure everyone's okay. Hello, how are you today? You speak English? No. Oh, you come here every morning and you go for a swim? Yes. So the lady said she comes down every morning, if she understood me, right? No, I did come here. Your first time here? Yes. Oh, where are you from? Kondom. 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 Yes. That in Vietnam? Yes. Ah, you're here on holiday? Yes. Ah, I see. How long you stay in Da Nang? One week, two week, two days, two, two, three days for the weekend. Okay, nice to meet you. 
I've just got the fishermen down here. We're going to walk down a bit further. So a lot of people do come here just for the weekend. It's in my hotel, she said. Um, the rooms are always booked Saturday and Sundays. So that's what they're doing. Hello. 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 How are you? So. Hello. 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 What do you do here today? What do you do? <laughs> for what? For your job? For your... Team building. For what? Why do you do team building? Right. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. You look like a good team. Good team. <laughs> See you. See you. Ah, excellent. So team building. She did say what for? Well, I forgot. Some sort of workplace, I reckon. Yeah, man, we're on the beach. This guy got his click. We're on the beach down here. Bought the old bike down there, going for a swim. Ah, so we've got, got a lady all leotarded up. She's getting filmed. Hello. Hello. Ah, fish, fish. Oh, okay. Ah, you pull in fish. Ah, I see, I see. You're bringing in fish, right? I would have no problems open, but they look like they've got it covered, man. Let's see what we can see down here. Got people from the hotel here, look. Got the hotel robes on. Five star hotel robe. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very good. Are your English good? Oh, thanks for. Uh... Can you tell me what they're bringing in on that rope? Fish? Yeah. they they pulling in fish, right? Okay. Where are you from? England. England. Yes. I'm from America. So you're Vietnamese, really? Uh, yes. You was born here? Okay, how long have you been in America? Uh, 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. You miss Vietnam? All the time. Yeah. yeah because this is my hometown. Da Nang is your hometown? Uh, actually, so this, is my, uh, this is the city where I uh, um, went to college. Okay. I was okay. born in um, a small town near Hong Kong. Right. Mm -hmm. What was Da Nang like when you was little? Uh, it's, um, it's changing. This uh, city has changed a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some can tell you a little bit more about this right. city. And, uh, I live in Da Nang. Okay. I'm from Miami. Right. Yeah. How yeah. has Da Nang changed tourist-wise in the last 10 years? It's last changed a lot? It's have a big change. Yes. Yeah. So it, it never used to be... It's maybe uh, 15 years. 15, 15 years. years yeah. So 15 years ago, none of these big hotels was here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and what was it like living here then? Uh, it was just like a, fi a fishing fishing town or? No, it's not so totally. Fishing Hoi An fishing town. Fishing town, fishing town also have a was it far from here. Okay. The, the beach for okay. everybody swims okay. and fishing ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so right. Just for, yeah, actually, this may be 20 years ago. So Da Nang is a place where Vietnamese come for holiday. They would come here for a weekend, maybe, Actually, on the beach. Every day. It's every, it's every day. day. Every day. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sữa nó hơi bị ngon kìa. Yeah. Sữa nó là đi về làm là món cỏ sữa. Ah. Yeah. This in England, it wouldn't be like this. 6 a.m. <laughs> Everybody would still be asleep. Oh, why you 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 have a lot of person UK? Yeah, UK, England, yeah. Oh. oh, so I don't know what's going on here. Oh, jellyfish? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. But they eat that? They yeah, eat? Yeah. Okay. We, we often have it with some uh, like a table and uh, some uh, um, fried uh, meat. Okay. 
Peanuts, peanuts. Oh, yeah. peanuts. Peanuts okay. and some uh, fish sauce. I see. With garlic. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, chili. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Vietnam girl that has lived in America for 14 years. They were very nice. Hey, they're pretty good, aren't they? Pretty good, man. Man, if you don't care with that, with that rig, I don't care either. Wow. Yeah, that's made me feel better. Walking around with that set up, putting it in people's faces. <laughs> so I was asking a lady about what the Nang was like years ago. I didn't want to ask about, but I'm really interested in <laughs> during the bad time yeah but I, I couldn't ask it i'm not sure if they would like it but I, I would love to ask i'd love to sit down with uh vietnamese and ask about that the nang during the war but you know i don't know it's a touchy subject isn't it still i think Đợt số 3 Đợt số 4 Rồi xí nữa sẽ là đồng chí Bảo Sẽ vào đội của Thôn Đồng chí Đồng chí tên gì Đồng chí Huy Sẽ vào đội của ai Phương Đồng chí gì Đồng chí Long Sẽ vào đội của ai Linh Rồi đồng chí Đồng chí này là đồng chí gì Đồng chí gì Đồng chí Lương Sẽ vào đội của now we're gonna go and get some breakfast. Gonna go and get a ban me from my from my little lady at the top of the road here. So we're gonna walk back up probably about five minutes. What I'm gonna do is this vlog is gonna be about the morning and the evening. So I'm gonna come back down here and show you what the evening's like. We'll we'll cut it after we've eaten. And then I'll be down here about 6 or 7 p.m. tonight where it's, it's a totally different vibe again, man. Everybody's on the beach again and chilling. But they've got these crossing walks here everywhere. The only thing with Vietnam is they've got no sense of moving out of the way. If someone's coming at you, they will come at you. Like... It's like they haven't got no sense to swerve or anything. They will just keep going. And it's the same on the road. The bikes, that's why they nearly run into each other because they just, they just keep going. None of them will move. <laughs> They'll just beat their own. This is it, yeah. I come in the night time, they got a noodle place here as well. And I will come sometimes to eat here. I don't come here all the time, but they're so delicious and cheap. She puts in egglet, a bit of pork, some greenery, tomato, and a small baguette like this. Good morning. Hello. So these ban these guys, they're 20,000 dong, which is about 70 British pence, 80, 90 cents US. And that's, that's the size you get, is it? It's not massive, it's not small. Right uh, here, it fills you up. She puts in loads of stuff. So you just get these little tables and chairs there. You can sit on the sit on the side of the road. So guys, this is a ban me. It's a baguette filled with pork, egg and some greenery. This is like quite a well-known snack or breakfast in Vietnam. Um, yeah, I've, I've had one every morning since I've got it. In fact, the first day I had two. And this is 20,000 dong. So 70 British pence, 80, 85 cents. So it's so cheap and it's so nice. So that's it, just 20,000 dong. 
Right, so it's the evening now. It's about 20 past six, is it? 20 past, 20 past five. So yeah, I thought I'd come down and finish the vlog. Like I said, we'll finish it in the evening. And yeah, the tide's tied right in, so it's not so busy, man. Ah, spots of rain in the air. See, this is what they do in the evening, look. They bring out all these um, cushions and you can sit there and have a drink. And yeah, over here is the designated swimming zone. So you gotta swim in the um, in the proper zone. Ah yeah, it's packed down the other end, man. Packed. Yeah, you can feel a few spots in the air. It's been brilliant today. I'm starting to really, really love Da Nang, man. I've been in and around the city filming, doing vlogs. I've never done this last time, see? I wasn't even vlogging, so. It's a great city, it really is. It's a great city. It's a great substitute city for Chiang Mai, I think. Of course, there's others around um, Vietnam, I reckon. But this is it's a great place to come and chill. Grey skies, it's gonna rain, man. It's gonna tip down, I reckon. Hopefully it does. Hello. Hello, Sita. How are you? Everybody's happy. Everybody's a Bobby Tesla. <laughs> Got some foreigners down in the evening. Don't really see him in the early morning. Hey, what's this guy got? Didn't even see this. He's got the old kite going. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, uh, what? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How your day today? You uh, YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Wow. You on my channel now? Okay. Wow, what you do you on channel? Walk about Wayne. Walk about Wayne. Walk about Wayne. You gonna be on my video? Oh, have English? English? Yeah, English. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah. Hello, YouTube. Okay. English? Yeah. Oh. Where are you from? England. England. Wow. What's your name? Wayne. Wayne. It's me, okay? There's my okay, channel. Okay. Okay. You boys on my channel. Okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Nice. Danang. See you again. Nice to See meet you. you. See you. Ah, cool, man. This is what I love about Danang. You wouldn't probably get that in Thailand. But yeah, two new subscribers. <laughs> They're going to be on the vlog. Happy days, two more Vietnamese. See, when, when they watch the video as well, it'll trigger a bit of the algorithm, send it to a few more Vietnamese people, which will be cool. See the big ship out there, look? That one was out there last time I was here as well. I don't know what it does. I'd like to know, because it's always out there. Not every day, but it must go come and go collecting stuff or exporting stuff. Right, we're gonna walk back up now. We're gonna walk up, see who else we can see. <laughs> this guy, Man City supporter, look. Yeah, Man City, we good. <laughs> Not that I support Man City, mind you. But just good to see someone else wearing up something other from Liverpool or Man United. I mean, I'm not sure if they're um, training for like volleyball. They play with their feet in there. Cause this guy was using his hands a minute ago, like hitting it with his hands. So I think I'm gonna leave it for the beach here and I will finish off at the noodle lady and show you what I'm eating for for tea or for dinner as you call it anywhere else in England we call it tea <laughs> but um, yeah I'm gonna finish off up there I just wanted to show you the the evening down here um, it's normally a bit busier than this but there's lots of people out there always is right so I'm at my little noodle place that I've come to some evenings it's in the same spot as where I got my um, band me in the morning in the morning it's the other lady and in the evening it's this lady and it's always packed out here as well guys she does noodles in a 
in a soup for 20,000, which is under one dollar again. Get all your limes and all your chilies, sauces. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really low here, man. It really is. I'm not used to sitting so low. Yeah, I come here sometimes. Just gonna finish the vlog here, show you what I get. And nobody speaks a lick of English. This lady does in the one in the morning does, but this lady, I've got to do the old, the old Google Translate, which is always comes in handy, right? Um, I ask for no, no water in a noodle. She puts it in a separate bowl for me. This lady here is a bit of a Bobby Dazzler on the old noodles. She always looks at me like, why can't you speak? <laughs> that's that's the like um that's the expression she gives me. There you go, look. Get the old choppies, old chopsticks. So it's very very basic, guys. Just noodles of a sauce and just put some pork in there, some greens. And normally that would be that would be in the noodles. I asked for it separate, so I get it everywhere. Man. Yeah, happy days. Twenty thousand dong. Not even a dollar. need a beer every night. In Thailand I'd never never buy a beer really but ever since I've been here now I've just about to have a beer and take back to me room. Um, yeah I want to stop it really because I don't want it to escalate like it used to back in the day. But I'm not gonna beat myself up about one beer either. Jesus Christ. One little tiny beer a day. So that's another day finished in Da Nang guys, I've had my, I've had my lunch, I've had my dinner, I've got my beer, I'm just going to go home now and chill out for a bit, probably I could live here cheaper than Chiang Mai, I'm spending a bit more because you know I'm on holiday, I'm, I'm having a good time just going about places. Yeah so I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to get home and drink my beer, hope you're enjoying the little series in Da Nang, got loads more coming and I'm going to stop waffling. Hope you're all safe and sound as always guys and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy man, take it easy.